Hi guys, Ian Johnson from DriverSuccess.com. Today we're going to talk about business to business brand management and in particular we're going to cover five critical aspects of managing your brand and improving your brand in your marketplace. Okay. Now before we get started I just wanted to basically talk a little bit about the subject matter because for the most part branding is not something that's applied to industrial goods. Okay. Most people when they think of product branding or branding in terms of a company they think of consumer goods and business to consumer marketplaces. So you think about a brand, an ideal brand would be something along the lines of McDonald's and how it's constantly changing its message to a changing demographic and a changing audience. However, you know, the fact is, is that any company operating in any market has a brand. Your company has a brand. You may not be cognizant of what that brand is, but you've got a brand and your customers are aware of that brand. It may be a good brand, it may be a bad brand. So we're going to cover five critical aspects of improving your brand. And when you think about your brand, think of the following. Think of everything you want your customers to know about your business. Think of everything you want them to know about what you do and how you do it and how well you do it. That message is your brand. Okay? So let's talk about how you build that brand. First thing we're going to talk about is finding brand champions. Now, it, look, brand champions, you'll hear a lot of people call them brand evangelists, but basically brand champions are nothing more than your most loyal customers. These are the customers that will not deviate from your company. You are their primary vendor of choice, you have an incumbent position, and they will not buy from anybody else, regardless of the price. Those are your brand champions. Now, the companies that have the best brands are the ones that know how to find these brand champions and get their message out to market. Every company has a brand champion. Every company knows uh, that it has loyal customers. The difference between a good business-to-business -business brand and one that's not that good is that the good business-to-business -business brand comes from a company that knows how to find these brand champions, knows how to use that customer loyalty to its advantage, and knows how to get that message out to market. Okay? So brand champions are your most loyal customers. Okay? However, in order to find those brand champions, you've got to segment your customer base. Now, again, you know, most people when they hear of segmenting a customer base, they think of, you know, they think of uh, a business to consumer market. And in that case, you know, you're thinking about, okay, we need to know the age of our customers, the demographic, where they, you know, where they live, their, their, uh, their ethnicity, uh, their, their uh, sex. So segmenting a customer base is, a, is, is something that's done in business to consumer markets, but it's something that, that you've got to do regardless of the market that you're operating in. Okay? So you've got to be able to segment your customer base in order to find your brand champions. And to give you an idea of what that might look like, let's say you're a manufacturer in, in a business-to-business -business marketplace. You could be selling to, uh, you could be selling to let's say, uh, original equipment manufacturers. So you could be selling to OEMs. You could be selling to value-added resellers or bars. You could be selling to integrators. Okay? You could be selling to distributors. All right. Now, you may have all these different customer classes, OEM, bars, integrators, and distributors, and essentially what you're doing here is you're saying which one of these customer groups are our most loyal customers, and is that in line with what we want? I mean, if you, if you find that your most loyal customers and your brand champions are, va are value-added resellers and integrators, um, but you really would rather they be OEMs, well, then you've got to change what you're doing in order to make sure that the OAM becomes your brand champions. What do you need to do in order to make sure that makes sense? So segmenting your customer base allows you to determine which ones are the most loyal customers, okay? Which ones, you know, spend the most, you know, allows you to determine the highest gross profit, allows you to determine the most, uh, the most, the highest repeatable amount of business, I guess, the highest, uh, revenue in terms of repeat business. So look, you got to segment your customer base. It doesn't matter what market you're operating in. Segmenting your customer base allows you to define and, and locate your brand champions, okay? The third thing you've got to do is you've got to upgrade your service. Now, let's just make one thing clear about branding, all right? Regardless of whether it's business to consumer or business to uh, business marketplace, if you've got a product that is you know, on equal footing as your competitors, the one thing that makes a difference between you winning the business and not getting the business is your service. When everything else is equal, when all products are the same, 
The one thing that makes a difference is your service. Now, yes, people will say price, but in the end, service wins out. And that's the most important aspect of branding. Your branding, when you go about trying to brand your, your, your company and your product, it, it's never just about your product. It's about your product and your service. And to give you some perspective on this, if you've got a product right now that your competitors cannot touch, and your service is substandard, I can guarantee you that your customers are doing everything they can to replace you. They may be buying from you right now because they have no choice, but the moment one of your competitors comes around with a product offering that is as good, and if they have better service, you've lost the business. I can guarantee you that, okay? So you've got to upgrade your service. And if you've got excellent service, and, and a lot of customers like you because of your service, and they told you that, great. Especially if your most loyal customers have told you you got great service, then, then it's covered, okay? The fourth thing you have to do is you have to increase customer loyalty. Now, that may be self-explanatory, okay? For some, that may be obvious um, for you, but for others, it, it, it isn't. And the best companies in terms of the companies that have the most loyal customers and the, and the, and the, the strongest brands, they focus entirely on increasing their customer loyalty. And they do simple little programs, like they do reward programs, okay? They do back-end rebate programs, okay? And I covered a back-end rebate program in an earlier video. Okay, they give their customers incentives to return. Okay, so basically, they, they give them a back end rebate and a crude rebate on returning business. The more they buy, the bigger their rebate, and they get it towards the end of the contract. So, you got to increase customer loyalty because a loyal customer is loyal to the brand. A loyal uh, a, a company or a customer that is loyal to your brand is loyal to your, to your company. So, it's one and the same. Brand loyalty is customer loyalty, okay? The fifth thing you've got to do is you've got to build market credibility. Now, what do I mean by this? Okay. When you go to a company that has a really good brand, if you go to their website, a lot of times you're going to see videos or podcasts. You're going to see a lot of things. If you go to a trade show, you're going to see these companies giving seminars and conferences at the trade show, training. Um, so look, building market credibility is not that difficult. It's something you've got to do with your customers, with your vendors, and it's something that, that is not difficult to do in a business-to-business -business marketplace, okay? So you've got trade shows. You've got videos that you can do and put on your website. You can use your brand champions in those videos. Okay? You could use your brand champions at trade shows alongside you when you give a presentation. Have them inside your booth. Okay? So when it comes to managing your brand, understand your brand is everything you want your customers to know about your company. Everything that you do and do well wrapped up in one clear, concise message to market. Okay? Find your brand champions. The most loyal customers are your brand champions. Segment your customer base in order to understand where your most loyal customers come from and make sure that it's in line with what you want. Upgrade your service. All things being equal, service wins out. Increase customer loyalty. Use simple plans, reward programs, back-end rebate programs, incentivize customer loyalty, and then build market credibility. Use trade shows, videos, use your brand champions, have them come with you to trade shows. Do what you need to do in order to increase your brand, and it's a constant feedback loop. You know, keep starting at one and come back over and over again. So that's it. Business to business brand management, Ian Johnson, DriverSuccess.com. Bye-bye.